it's time to start the second part of the uh, LED build and that's making the floodlights. Now I filmed some of these a little earlier when I was doing the LED project. I had uh, taken three LEDs and soldered them together. Uh, one thing I have done already, as you can see here, is I've gone through all of them and I've got the appropriate resistors mounted on them. My next step with these is I've got to get the leads soldered on as well, which I'll probably be doing in a day or two. I decided to take a break from soldering to work on these. Now what these are, are an inch and a half test cap is what they're called. Uh, these are what they put in the end of uh, the piping, uh, PVC piping and stuff when the thing's under, uh, when a building's under uh, construction and they're not uh, ready to hook up all the uh, utility piping and stuff. So what I'm going to be using these for, and I've got a couple started, is I've marked out, I've put six dots on them and I'm going to be drilling six holes that the uh, LEDs will stick through. And they'll stick through on the inner side in here. And that's going to be my holder for the LEDs, and then these will be going into some piping, which I still have to buy. Uh, to, that I'm going to be using to make the barrels for. But currently, I am in the process of marking out all my end caps. And then I'm going to need to drill them, and then I'm going to take some silver paint, and uh, chrome paint, and paint the inside and the outside of them in chrome before I mount the LEDs in them. But that's the uh, step I'm on now. Okay, boys and girls, another little quickie vlog here. I've gotten one stage done. I showed you these caps, and I've got them all cut now, or drilled out. The holes are where the uh, LEDs are going to go. I still need to go through my next step, is I'm going to paint them with some chrome silver paint around the inside and on the outer lip and stuff. And hopefully it will act as a reflector. But uh, the LEDs pretty much fit right into the back of them. When I go to mount them, I'll put a drop of hot glue on there to actually hold them into place so they're facing the right way. Right now they're loose and they're kind of angled. But uh, here's the other side. You can see the LEDs sticking through. Okay, guys. Last segment, I showed you these little test caps here. And since then, I've gotten the holes drilled. And I really wasn't overly precise on how I drilled the holes. I've got five running around the outside edge, one in the center, and they're not all exact. They're not all identical. You know, so I didn't, you know, I probably could have laid it out, you know, so it was exact, but I chose not to. <laughs> I've been working with LEDs for over a month now, and I just kind of, I kind of rushed it. I probably should have taken my time with it. But my next chore now is basically mounting these LEDs into these caps. Okay, so what, what I'm doing is I've got the LEDs soldered together in threes, I've got the resistor on them, and I've gotten the uh, leads on there. And I got the leads fairly long, and I'll trim those down at, uh, later. But to get these in, all I do is basically fit, and I know my hands are in the way there, the LEDs in. Now the problem is, is if I leave them like that, they're just going to pop out if they get bumped. So what I've been doing is going through with some hot glue and just putting a dot of hot glue on here and then sitting here and holding it into place until the hot glue dries. And I came up with a tip to not have to hold them so long. I put the hot glue on them and I'll do one here. A little bit of a dab there. A little bit of a dab here and then I'm using some canned air and I just do a real light blow on it. The canned air comes out of the can cold and it, uh, by hitting the hot glue lightly with it it helps to cool off the hot glue so it sets up quicker. And then that's basically about it and then you just repeat it for each LED. I'm working on the red LEDs. Uh, I haven't gotten any of the other colors done yet, but I wanted to give you this kind of a clip here. This is what I'm currently working on. That's the last segment. We've gotten a little further. I've got 
my LEDs all mounted in. You can see the uh, white wires here are my negatives. They're attached to the resistors. Grays are the positive. Uh, you can see the back of the LEDs in there uh, with the little dabs of hot glue to hold each of them in, which I showed in the other segment. There's what they look like on the front. Now, next stage I'm on, ready, getting ready to do is mount them in their housing. And what this is, it's an inch and a half PVC pipe, which I've cut into a three inch long section, and I've given it a coat of black paint. And what we end up doing, and let's see if I can get do this one handed here, we just thread the light in like that. And you'll have, end up with something like that. Now to hold the light in there, what I'm going to end up doing here in Wanky Camera is I'm going to put a bead of hot glue in here around this edge before I push this down and into it. And then when it dries, it should create a watertight seal all the way around. You know, so it'll be water sealed on this end. Now on this end, I've got some inch and a half pipe caps I'm going to be putting on here. And I've got a little trick I'm going to be doing with those too. And I'll show you that in another segment. But for right now, I'm just going to get the LEDs mounted into uh, this section here. Okay, wanted to throw in one other quick thing before I showed you the clip on the end caps. Uh, on these lights themselves, after I get them mounted into the tubes, like this one is, with the glue, I got to thinking, when I go to put the end cap on, I'm going to have to be tucking the wires and everything. And I got to... Th now I got to think, and I got to quit saying that, that's going to get old real quick. These uh, contacts here where the uh, leads attach are very flimsy. I mean, it doesn't take much weight for them to bend and everything. And I'm afraid if I go to tuck the wires, they might bend into one of the other connections and short out blowing up the LEDs. So I got a little workaround for that. What I ended up doing, and I don't know if you can really see it down there, you probably can't. But I went and took these leads and I pressed them up against the inside of the PVC pipe and then I put a big blob of hot glue, or drop of hot glue, blob drop, whichever, on them. And then once it sets up, it keeps those, le uh, those uh, connections down there from moving. So when I go get the, put the end caps on, I can tuck these wires in and not have to be afraid of the uh, wire connections down inside the uh, tube from... Uh, you know, coming into contact with something else. Okay, I wanted to give an update and a little bit on the next step. Uh, I've got my barrels painted. I've got my LEDs mounted into them. And all I did to mount the uh, little white caps, which you uh, saw in the uh, one of the uh, previous segments, uh, I just ran a bead of hot glue around the inside lip of the pipe and then push the cap on. Another thing I wanted to do too is I was afraid with these wires moving around and stuff when I go to assemble them it might wreak some havoc down there on the LEDs. So I pushed the wires against the sidewall of the pipe and I put a drop of uh, hot glue on that to hold the wires to the side of the thing so when I go to put these together they don't mess up anything. And right now, I've got 64 floodlights done to this step. My next step is this here. This is the end cap. This will actually go over the end of the pipe. Now what I could do, you know, if I wanted to do it simple and easy, I could have drilled my two holes a little bit smaller and pushed the wires through them and, you know, did my contact leads that way, you know, to uh, get power to them. I decided, to go a different route though and I'm doing this these are some quick release fittings this is the female end and then I made up some leads that will plug into these you know for the wiring I figured going this route uh, will make it a lot easier for storage. I won't have to worry about a bunch of snarled wires sticking out the back of them. You know, when I pull them out of storage. But basically, what I did is I took the caps, I drilled two holes in the end of them, and then painted them black. 
Then I went and took my leads, which are right here. And it's about a four inch piece of wire right now. And uh, put the connectors on them. Then I basically just insert them into the holes, push them in, and now to hold them in, I am putting a drop of hot glue on the inside, basically gluing them into place. I still need to bear the wires yet, but you know, next step, I've got to bear these wires and attach them to the wires coming off the lights a piece of electrical tape around it to keep them from uh, shorting or anything like that and then I can just push the two pieces together and I'll have a finished light. So right now it's all about putting getting these connections mounted and that's what I'm doing now. I got 64 of them to do. Okay so far on the project we've gotten this part done here. We've got the base with the lens in it and the wires are sticking out and we got the back end which is those are going to be the connections for where the uh, leads go on next stage is to join them all together so what i'm doing is pretty straightforward stage step one is to twist the leads together once they're together like this i'm taking my soldering iron and I'm covering each connection in a bit of solder to help hold it into place so it doesn't become doesn't come uh, unraveled, you know, with movement and everything else. Then I take some black electrical tape and I cover the leads so they don't make contact. And then we tuck the wires inside and push the cap on. And we end up with our LED lights looking like this. Okay, once it gets to this stage, I've still got to come back. i got to do some touch-up painting here and there on them. And then i got to hook the uh, leads up to them as well. And do a light check as well on them. And i got to hook the uh, mounting bracket up. But basically right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to get them all to looking like this. Hey guys, I wanted to give you another quick segment on the uh, floodlights I've been working on. I've gotten a little bit further. This is what we've gotten so far. The uh, lights themselves are complete. Their housings are done. I've got this set up for a quick connect for the leads. I went and did it that way uh, with the two jacks on there. I think I explained in one of the other segments. But I've had problems with uh, the electrical cords on my electrical lights before. They get all snarled in storage and stuff. So I figured it'd be just easier to take the uh, cords off and this is pretty much what the leads look like they just plug right into the connectors you know so beginning of the year i hang the light plug those in and attach them to power and they got power another thing i did too is when i did my light check on them i marked one which is positive and which is the negative lead on each light and then each light is marked uh, i know it looks like a six but it's a g for green we got V for ultraviolet, B for blue, and R for red. That way when I'm putting them up, I know what they look like. Now, as to how I'm gonna be mounting them, I had two different ways I was thinking about doing it. And I decided to do exactly what I did with the spotlights I made. I'm using, well, as you can see there, it's basically the same hanger as what's on the uh, LED spotlights and I just set it against the barrel and then wrap it with electrical tape. Now originally I had planned on take, doing the same type of thing with the holder and making a loop out of it, putting it against the side and then just running a screw with a washer on it through it to mount them. You know, that, that was extra money. I figured I'd save a little bit and I'll, I'll try it this way this year and if it doesn't work out overly well then I can convert over and on the hangers and do that next next year. At this point, the project's pretty much done. Uh, the one thing I have not done yet, it, like I did with the, uh, uh, the spotlights I made, is I haven't showed you guys a light check with them. And I am not going to with this project. Uh, my next project is gonna be the uh, control center, which I'm gonna be making here starting tomorrow. Uh, 
to run all the LED lights, the uh, five volt lighting, uh, and then probably a couple of my other uh, smaller props. Uh, I figure once that control center is all done, I'm gonna hook up one of every color, both on the floods and on the uh, spotlights, and then we'll do an actual nighttime uh, uh, check of it. So that will be in the next vlog, which should hopefully be up in about a week or two. Uh, another small programming note on my channel itself. Uh, I've got a bunch of various playlists and stuff up on, my, up on my channel. I'm not really sure how many people are actually watching those playlists. But I'm going to go through and clean up those playlists. I'm going to add one new playlist to the mix-up. And it's going to be on how-tos. Uh, I've done that one now for the floodlights. I've done it for the spotlights. You know how tos on. You know how I put them together. Uh, the three-part ship's wheel project. You know, same thing. That was pretty much a how-to on how I built that. And then I also have the uh, recipe for the uh, skulls I made uh, back this last winter for the fireplace project and how to make the monster clay and what have you. And I figure I'll just put them all together into one playlist, you know, that you guys can access from my channel, you know, if you're curious. And I'll add to it as I do other how-tos. So uh, that should be up within a day or two of this being posted on YouTube. So it'll be something for you to look at, so... But anyway, with that, this project is pretty much done. Uh, next vlog, as I said, will be out in about a week, maybe two weeks. Uh, we'll be on the control center, nerve center for the uh, floodlights, and that will have uh, some uh, shout outs in it for new subscribers, as well as a nighttime look at the uh, lighting. So, until then, take care and stay scary out there.